And we're looking at bone broth today. Some are calling this new food craze a superfood, saying it can make you look and feel better. Now pay attention, Lara. I am. Maybe Juju Kang tried it out to examine the claims. Hey, Juju. Hey, George. You know what? Somewhere just about now, your grandmother is saying, I told you so, because the hottest new health craze is so old school. But bone broth isn't just for colds anymore. It's now being touted to improve joint pain, leaky gut, osteoporosis, even help your hair and nails grow. So is it truly a magical elixir? It's a cup of hot, steaming deliciousness. Some say it's the new juice craze and may someday replace your afternoon cup of joe. That is better than coffee. It's bone broth. Yep, your standard chicken or beef broth, the kind mom makes when she has hours and hours to brew up soup. It's a hot new hot beverage. Touted by actor turned foodie guru Gwyneth Paltrow, adored by the high protein loving paleo crowd. It's now being sold in Manhattan's hip East Village out of this tiny window called Brado, Italian for broth. This is a batch of the beef. Um, for it'll be ready tomorrow in like 18 hours. What's the virtue of, you know, simmering down the bone? Well, you get all the minerals out of them, right? The calcium and magnesium are big ones. The gelatin and the collagen that comes out. And then all the proteins and amino acids. Chef and owner Marco Canora says his broth is good for joint and gut health, inflammation, and great for dieters too. Yep, high water, it's low in calories, high in nutrition. Um, you know, everybody's seen those lists of superfoods, right? Yeah. And you see blueberries and you see kefir. And I think that, you know, broth needs to be considered a superfood. And unlike the juicing craze, broth is low in sugar and high in protein. Does it hold any secret medical or nutritional value? Probably not. Uh, is it unhealthy for you? Definitely not. Um, but I think it's the reality is somewhere in the middle. You know, it's a low calorie, delicious food. That's the organic chicken. His customers dig it too. I have digestion is issues. Um, and once we started drinking broth, it like made everything okay. Kenora's flavors include organic chicken or grass-fed beef with optional infusions. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's enjoying um, the attention. You know, this um, is like a huge success. It's been it's been pretty great. It's all, you know we're three weeks in, so I don't want to you know get ahead of myself. It was a couple Saturdays ago. I ran out at three o'clock. I had no idea it was going to go so well. You know, once I started looking into bone broth last week, it's popping up everywhere from prevention to self magazine, even business insider. But nutrients, nutritionists rather, say you should be careful about store brought broths because lots of salt, lots of MSG. Most home recipes, the good news is, George, can be made in less than a dollar. So cheap, but you have to do it right. You do. Like, it's different th from the store brought. It takes 18 hours to simmer it down. And when you do, you get the calcium, the magnesium, even the glucosamine and chondroitin that mm. people take for joint pain, and the gelatin in it is what helps your hair and nails grow, but it also can line your intestines and help with leaky gut. A lot of benefits. We uh, we did it with the turkey last week. Oh, did yeah, you? There you excellent. go. Yep. And you look so great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>